It's Trevin here, and this morning I'm joined by Dr. Amy Young. She's the Chief Clinical Officer at UT Health Austin. Good morning, Dr. Young. Good morning, Trevin. How are you doing today? Thanks for joining us. Great. Thanks for having me. Well, we wanted to talk this morning about COVID-19 vaccinations. Are currently approved COVID-19 vaccines safe? Yeah, so there's three vaccines that are available in the United States right now. They're very, very safe. They were tested uh, very rigorously, and in the same way that vaccines are usually tested and uh, we find them to be very, very safe. You know, people are a little bit concerned about the vaccines because they think they were, you know, brought to the market too quickly, etc. And I think it's important for people to understand that the reason they came faster is because these processes are usually sequential. And in this particular case, they actually started production before they had tests back, whether rather than waiting for all the testing to come back to start the production. They still have gone through all of the testing and all the rigor that they normally do, but they had gone ahead and supported the production of the vaccines, and that's why we were able to get them so much sooner. So people shouldn't be afraid about that. Right. Um, so what are some of the short and maybe even longer term side effects from these vaccines? Right. So the short term side effects are usually for a day or two after you get the vaccine. And it's usually worse after the second vaccine. You may have a headache. You may feel tired. You may run a little fever. You may be achy all over. Um, but it's usually fairly short lived, one to two days. Um, and, you know, uh, someplace between a third and a half of people will ha end up having some sort of a, you know, a short term side effect like I, I just mentioned. And all that means is it means your body's, it's working and your body's inflammatory response has turned on in a way that it's actually building the protections that we need to help protect us from COVID. As far as long-term side effects, there's really no long-term side effects from the vaccine. So people should be, you know, aware that they're going to have these sort of short-term side effects that might keep you out of work for a day or two sometimes. A lot of people aren't out of work at all. I personally went straight back to work. As far as uh, being worried about long-term side effects, that should not be a concern and should not deter anybody from getting a vaccine. How soon after vaccination will folks be protected and how long will that last? The interesting thing, and I'll take the second part of that first, is we're not exactly sure how long the protection lasts. We have data out now for one of the vaccines that tells us that we're protected uh, for at least six months um, because their six-month data came out. Uh, we presume it's probably the same, at least for one of the other vaccines, and there's no reason to, to assume that it's not for all of them. We just don't know how long that that's going to extend. Now, we know you get some protection after the first vaccine and a two-vaccine series, um, but the reason you get the second vaccine is to get the booster to make sure you get all the immunity. And so most people should feel somewhat protected at two weeks after they receive either the second vaccine in a two-shot series or after the first shot in a one-shot shot series. And the only one of those vaccines right now is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Can you actually get COVID-19 from the vaccine? You cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine. That's not how the vaccines work. So the two types of vaccines we have right now, one is called an mRNA vaccine, and that's the Pfizer product and the Moderna product. And the way those vaccines work is that they basically uh, help create a protein in your muscle cells that's recognized as foreign and you make the inflammatory response to that. And then the Johnson & Johnson is a vector vaccine, and the way that it works is it's a different virus that has a little piece of some virus material that's similar to COVID-19, and so it tricks your body into making an antibody response basically to that little segment of the virus. Well, what about a family member that you're living with? Can they, air quote, catch COVID-19 from someone who's been vaccinated? They can't get COVID-19 from someone um, who has been vaccinated from the vaccine. What about if someone's already tested positive uh, for COVID-19 antibodies or they've had the illness themselves? Should they still get the vaccine? They should still get the vaccine. Uh, my own son had COVID and he ended up getting the vaccine this week. Uh, we currently usually wait about 90 days after the illness in most cases to give the um the vaccine, but you should still get it because we don't know how long the immunity for an individual lasts after COVID. It's variable and it seems to be variable based on sort of the degree of, of illness that they had at the time that they had COVID. So it's really important to ensure that 
long-term protection that they go ahead and get the COVID vaccine. Is it sort of worth it to wait and wait and see, if you will, how other people are doing before you or folks should get theirs? Yeah, I don't think that that's a very smart approach. Uh, the reason is, is that at this point in Texas alone, about 15 million people have gotten the COVID vaccine. So if we were going to start to see significant problems with the vaccine or we were going to see people not being protected by the vaccine in great quantities, we should have already seen that. Think about it like this. Are you more afraid of the vaccine or are you more afraid of getting COVID? Is UT Health Austin offering vaccinations right now? Yes, we are. And we have a um, a website. So if you go to uh, UT Health Austin or Google UT Health Austin, uh, you can sign up on our COVID-19 webpage for a vaccine. Dr. Amy Young, the Chief Clinical Officer at UT Health Austin. Dr. Young, thanks for spending some time with us and answering these questions about the vaccine. Thank you. I hope you